welcome to Action Teacher Video. Video is a powerful tool that teachers are using to reflect on their own practice and to communicate new ideas. And in this series, we feature videos produced by teachers themselves and discuss the contents and implications here in the studio. In this program, we'll be looking at an innovative approach to English and drama in Chadvale Primary School, captured on camera by teachers Bruce Warland and Vicky Crombie, and called What Impact Does Drama Have? I'm delighted to be joined in the studio by Bruce Warland and Vicky Crombie. Bruce and Vicky, hello and welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. Joining us is another teacher with some similar experiences and concerns from Shelthorpe Community School. Lou Harrison, hello and welcome. Hello. I'm also delighted to introduce a consultant and frequent contributor to Teachers TV, Adrian Jones. Firstly, I wonder, Bruce and Vicky, if you could tell us a bit about the aims of your video. Well, initially, um, for Chad Vale, we had some concerns about the level of writing within the school. Um, we found that the reading levels of the children were much higher than, than the writing levels, um, and so this was a focus for us. Um, I then uh, found out about a writing scheme that was, has been um, put forward by someone called Ros Wilson and piloted that in my classroom to try and help raise standards in writing. Um, at the same time, Bruce was always th also thinking about drama. I was um, writing a curriculum of drama for drama across the school and as the two um, projects were emerging at the same time, we thought it might be tri quite interesting to link those together and to, to look at the impact that the drama had on the children's writing levels as well. The aim of the project was to find out what sort of impact drama had on children's writing. To explore this, we began with a week of literacy teaching on narratives without any drama. The text we used was A Thief in the Village by James Berry. Don't tell anybody about it. We then completed a week of drama focused on a narrative, which was the story of A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. I can't help her anymore! She's gone! She's run away with Lysander! She's in the forest! What is the meaning of this?! At the end of both weeks, the children took part in a quiet, independent writing session. During these sessions, they wrote the climax and resolution to each of the narratives. We then interviewed the children to find out their perceptions of, and opinions on, writing and drama. I quite like writing because you can get all your ideas and like for stories and like your thoughts just on a piece of paper and kind of and you can kind of record them. Yeah, it's just like um you let your imagination flow. Yeah, yeah. Let your imagination run wild. Like um non-fiction because I love reading non-fiction. Writing as well. I like like wanted posters. You can make up your own character and then say they're wanted. And you can describe whatever they, whatever. I feel that um, writing a chance where you can write anything you want only when you have like a set task, so you can be creative and write and use your imagination. I like writing out anything I like, like making up my own story. I, I sort of like writing long stories because you have to have to write it and it, it's long and, it, and it's good. I can't really say I enjoy writing and I can't really say I don't because there's some aspects of writing that I do enjoy and there's some aspects of. Writing. I like drama because it's just like learning, but you don't learn. You don't listen to people. You yeah, don't. Like, like, you don't write it down. You just do what you feel. Do what you think is going to happen. And you get to act it, so like you can actually be the characters, like you can put yourself in the characters' shoes to understand what the story drama because you get to act the real like acting and you get to explore the story. I I enjoy drama because you get you get to like be in the story and like act out what you think's gonna happen, or like you get to or use your opinion on the things you. You get to move around in it and be part of the story. I like the drama when we're doing like a story and you're, we're acting a lot. I like the drama where you improvise it, you just like make up as you go. We also asked the children which week of literacy they preferred, with or without drama.
I prefer drama, the literacy week, because we got to act out and it was fun acting and most of the class enjoyed it and there wasn't many stops. I prefer the week where we did the Midsummer's Night Dream because there was more drama in it and um, we got to act out pieces ourselves and not just read tests but um, be part of it as well. Uh, I prefer to read some of that dream because it was drama and I really enjoy drama and we got to be ca characters and the characters in the story are, are really interesting. I preferred doing the drama as well because everyone got to take part in it and um, I had to I learned the story through um, like acting it out, not reading the text and that was really... I understand more and I feel more involved when in drama. I feel engaged in drama. It sort of makes you laugh, so it sort of wakes you up and makes you just watch it, sort of. And it gives you time to, like, have ideas while yeah. you're watching and acting. And while you're acting, you um, come up with little ideas for little plays um, so that could be used in your writing. The children thoroughly enjoyed the two weeks' work on narratives. They were particularly engaged by the use of video recorded teacher in role and found the outtakes <laughs> very humorous. You asked the question, what impact does drama have? Have you reached any conclusions, either of you? I think we definitely have, actually. Um, it was clear from the video that the children really, really enjoyed the week of drama that they did. And we found that their writing after that week of drama um, included a lot more a lot more vocabulary that was related to the text and the children seemed to really engage with the characters and quite a complex story structure as well. We also found that thinking along inclusion lines that the children who, not, who normally would not necessarily have been able to access that text were able to understand on nearly the same level as other children and were able to present themselves in role play and, and show a really good understanding of characters' thoughts and feelings. The implications of what you've just said are that you would no longer just have a narrative text, that you would always approach writing through drama. Is that the case? It, well, it's fair, that's quite an interesting point because some of the children did verbalise that they, they wouldn't actually want to replace um, our classroom-based literacy lessons with drama all the time and that they felt that, that whilst they really enjoyed drama they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to experience it all the time because they enjoyed their other lessons as well. Did you find out from them what their attitudes towards writing were before they did the drama, for um, example? We did talk a little bit about writing um, before they did the drama, um, but what came out afterwards that we found really interesting was the fact that um, the children said they wouldn't want to have a literacy week like that every week, that they would still want to have a, a, a week of literacy based. like we had previously, which we, f we felt was really interesting because we didn't think they would say that. Well, let's see once again what the children at Chad Vale Primary School feel about drama. I like drama because it's just like learning but you don't learn. You don't listen to people. You, yeah, don't, like, like, you don't write it down. You just do what you feel, do what you think is going to happen. And you get to act it. So, like, you can actually be the characters. Like, you can put yourself in the character's shoes. So were there any surprises for you in their responses? Did you predict that they'd respond in the way they did? We thought that some of them... Um, would probably be slightly more negative because for some of the children we thought that perhaps they wouldn't want to perform mm. and it's not necessarily everybody's you know bag standing up and mm. and doing their bit but actually most of the children in fact all of them in this in this class really enjoyed taking centre stage as a group they didn't do that individually but as a group they really enjoyed and it involved some quite mature thinking as well with the with the um, the two characters who actually you know were in love and and that sort of thing and it's quite a mature thing for children to have to think about at that age. And it gives you time to like have ideas while you're watching and acting, and while you're acting, you um come up with little ideas for little plays, and um, so 
that could be used in your writing. Lou, I wonder what you made of the contrasting views there? I find it really interesting that the children seem to view the drama as an alternative to writing and welcome that. And you said that afterwards they felt like they didn't want to do that all of the time. When you were reflecting with them, did you feel like they could see there was a link between that deeper understanding and the quality of their writing? I think there certainly was, yeah. Some of them did verbalise that as well, um, which perhaps didn't come out so well in the video. Um, they did feel that they had a deeper understanding of the characters, the text, and we actually found that the, the level of vocabulary that they used in their writing was much better. Yeah, much of a higher standard. Mm. Following the drama week. You talked about Ros Wilson as, as something that kind of uh, instigated this for you. Mm. Was that the thing that you used to assess an improvement in the writing? Were you? Yes, it was, yeah. We do a big writing session every week, so that's, you know, we've got a pretty clear idea of where they are on the criterion scale that she uses so we were able to use that to help us when we were levelling the pieces of writing and having a look at the improvements in vocabulary. Mm. By producing a video in this way um, you would presumably share it with your staff and other schools? Well I think I think using video is obviously very visual and it, it, it's a way of, of being able to show other people um, of the way that we've worked on something and, and that was something that was really important to us, that, that sharing of ideas and, and use of drama um, for, for, for inspiring the curriculum. Have you got ideas for an, another video that you want to produce? Well, we, we'd actually discussed sort of where we would take this exploration, this action research further. Um, and we, we thought that, that possibly we might look at um, working with children who, who do find drama more difficult um, to, to try and work with them and see if we can inspire them in, in their writing further. And Lou, how would you, has this inspired you to maybe go off and do a drama video at your school? I really enjoyed it a lot and uh, I thought the children's reflection was lovely. Um, an idea that you mentioned when we were talking before the programme was about the idea of the teacher in role and the yes. fact that you could use video for that and I thought that was a really good way of mm. um, encouraging teachers who perhaps feel a bit un lacking in confidence about being videoed to start using that as a technique in the classroom. It was definitely less stressful when we were teaching, wasn't Absolutely. it? Because we had just had to press play on the video instead of get the costume on. Remember the lines remember. <laughs> in a complicated <laughs> yeah. story yes. and get it right. But in the sense of producing a video in the way that you have, I would like to la ask Lou this. As a piece of reflective practice, once you've produced a video, how does that support what you do then as a teacher? There are two points I think coming out of that. One is that um, Bruce and Vicky were talking about how much they gained from reflecting together through the process of making it and how useful the dialogue was as, as an action research tool. But the other is that when we're talking about looking at our own practice, the opportunity to present that to other people and discuss it so that the reflection is actually there visually in front of all of us um, is a really valuable one. Well we have had such an interesting discussion. I wish we could go on, but we can't, of course. But you can see it again and find out more by going to our website at teachers.tv. It only remains for me to say thank you to all our guests here, Bruce Warland and Vicky Crombie and Lou Harrison. And thanks also to our consultant, Adrian Jones. Please join us again on Action Teacher Video. And in the meantime, from me, Sam Pistine, goodbye. <laughs>